What is going on guys? It's Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's episode, I've got a viewer requested tutorial video about how to bind a Bayang Protocol, a Tiny Whip Silverware board, this one is the Beta FPV Lite V2, to a full-size hobby grade radio such as the Radio Master TX16S, but this will also work with other multi-protocol transmitters like the Jumper C16 or T18 models as well. And this is going to be running OpenTX firmware, so it might be a little bit confusing if you're running anything else uh, I'm just saying anyway just this protocol in general is all backwards uh, compared to you know your typical free sky or spectrum binds that we are all used to so this is a little bit uh, confusing at times and it threw me for a loop for a few days until I finally got proficient in configuring the flight controller with the OSD and you know learning how to get it all done so I'm happy to show you guys how this works today for this, you're going to go ahead and need your radio and your quad, of course. You're also going to need a flight battery as well as a pair of goggles or a monitor uh, to go ahead and uh, configure the OSD. Um, and you're going to have to do that before you fly. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get right into it with powering on the Radio Master TX16S here. All right. So I already have a model all set up. It's pretty easy to create a model. I don't think I need to show you guys that. We're gonna go ahead and hit the model key and scroll up to the uh, internal RF mode. So you can see right here, it will say mode and then it will say off if this is a brand new model for you guys. You're gonna go ahead and select that and switch it to multi. And then right here, you can go ahead and select Bayang for your protocol. It's in alphabetical order, so it starts at like fly sky and you're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way up to Bayang. You're gonna want the standard configuration on there as well. And you can go ahead and check all this firmware stuff and make sure that matches yours because that is what's working for me on this quad. So you're gonna see we do have the channel one through channel 16 range and our receiver number is zero, zero because I only have one of these. So none of that really is overly relevant for this quad. Now we're gonna go ahead and select bind. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and get the quad into the actual bind mode. So I'm gonna hit, uh, plug in my flight battery right here. and we're gonna power this bad boy on. You can see we've got two lights. This is the startup indicator. There's not really any sounds like we're used to with the other multi-rotors. Uh, the brushless ones running like BL Heli, so you're just gonna have to deal with it for a second. Kind of let the gyro calibrate, and once it does, you'll see we're in bind mode now. We've got a green light on one side, blue light on the other, and that little darker blue light on the inside is flashing. I don't know if you can see that or not, um, but it is flashing in there, um, and that's gonna signify that we are in bind mode. So from there, we can go ahead and select bind right here. And once we've got that, you can see the lights went out and this is showing us that we are all ready to go. We'll have a solid red and a flashing purple LED. And from there, it looks like we are ready to go ahead and configure um, the OSD menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch on my screen here and show you guys uh, what you can do with this OSD um, because we have to go ahead and tell the flight controller that we're not running uh, that beta FPV or light controller. So. All right guys, so now we're here in the OSD. I went ahead and put a lens cap over the camera so you can see what I'm doing in the menu system a little bit better. We're gonna enter the menus by just going ahead and yawing left and pitching forward. And from there you can see now we are in the menus and we're gonna go ahead and scroll down using the right stick over to the config menu right here. And then with the right stick, you're gonna push it to the right to enter the menu. So you can see that there is this Toy TX a uh, little option right here that is at no for me, obviously because I've already previously set this up, but it might say yes, so Y for yes and for no. Um, there, we're just gonna go ahead and push it to the right to change that, so you can see we can go yes, no, yes, no, yeah. We're gonna m make sure we end up on that no, and that is the only thing you need to do in here. It's actually relatively simple. Um, now, now we're gonna go ahead and scroll down all the way to back, and the most important part is that you need to save before you exit the OSD menu. And from there, as you can see, this thing is all ready to fly. I can go ahead and use my throttle. And we're flying away, way off camera. So yeah, that's about it for the video, guys. I gotta go pick that quad up. But that is a pretty basic overview and tutorial about how to make this work with your Radio Master TX16S. I hope you found it helpful. As always, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to field those down in the comments section below. For now, uh, that's all I have for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.